working. Okay, welcome everyone. So I, I will first first start by introducing myself. I'm uh, Antoine Serrois, I work for Contron. Um, I will talk today about what we do for, uh, for edge computing uh, mainly. So this, okay, who is Contron first? Uh, Contron is a global company. We are present in uh, 12 different countries world, worldwide. Uh, we have a lot of different facilities around the world. Uh, we are a German company. We have facility in, uh, in Germany, but also in, uh, in Toulon, San Diego, Montreal. Uh, I came from Montreal. All the, the communication uh, business unit are, are done in, the, in Montreal. We take care of developing all the things for, uh, for um, communication and cloud. So what are the typical customer we have at Contron? Um, typically, we do a lot of OEM uh, design for a lot of, uh, of telco. So uh, if you have ever used a cell phone, you most likely have ever used one of our hardware. But most of the time, it was not brand Contron. It was brands for, from some big uh, temps. We also have done a lot of different uh, OEM deal for a lot of uh, security appliance uh, um, uh, security appliance like a DDoS attack or stuff like that. We also sold a lot of those servers in the media market, mainly for video transcoding for all TV and uh, broadcasting. So then what we do for, for edge and cloud, compu cloud computing. So edge, everybody talk about edge, nobody know exactly where it is. I think it's funny because yeah, it's all about location. My, my point on that is it's about location, but we do, uh, we provide server. You cannot put all, all the same server everywhere. So we have different product for different space in the network, especially for the central office point of presence or the access like uh, street cabinet or cell site uh, tower. Uh, what is the different, main difference you need to look uh, for when you choose your hardware for your edge? Uh, first, the physical constraint. The physical constraint is not the same everywhere. So specifically for the edge, you have uh, less space, you have uh, most of the time less power. Most of the time this is all owned by a telco or in a telco infrastructure. So the telco requirements are not the same. You have different requirements for, for uh, physical security. Next thing is important is really the flexibility. In data center, you have a lot of space to put a lot of different specialized, uh, specialized hardware like big compute, big storage, big GPU. In Edge, it's not the same thing. You are restricted, so you would like to have a flexible hardware is able to do all that in, in the same, uh, same manner. Of course, the cost is still important, what you have in a CapEx and the OpEx cost, but the whole goal of that is to be able to operate that like you operate any cloud, like with OpenStack or Kubernetes. Uh, what is the different hardware we have? So, the, the flagship product we have is this one called a SIM cloud. Uh, what is the SIM cloud? Uh, this is the front view. So in the front, you have two top of the rack switch. So on the top, there. So this is exactly like having your two top of the rack in standard rack. Uh, you have fan and faceplate. All that is in the back. So in the back, you have uh, nine different nodes. So there you could add a lot of different server. So we have a server like those one where you have two big, uh, uh, two, two server in uh, nodes. So you could end up having 18 server on that. So it's really good for Edge when you don't have space because you end up in that to having 18 different server plus two top of the rack switch. Basically, we take the old rack and we have shrink that in to you. Of course, if you need more, you could pile up that. So different example of module you could, uh, you could have with us. So the first one, the 8040 series is standard one server and you could add PCI Express or storage if you like. 
And the next two one is really for compute density. So you could have two independent server by, uh, by, by node. So then why this is really good for edge? Uh, instead of having a big pile, you end up to having only few server. In that drawing, I have exactly the same number of compute left and right. So you are able to really picky zip uh, that. Uh, this also helps you to simplify all your wiring or you deploy that. Another thing really important when you try to have many, many locations. Uh, we have run a couple of benchmarks to explain exactly uh, how we could save power. So in that example, if you compare to standard commodity hardware, we are able to save the power consumption by four. This is mainly because you use very power efficient CPU and very power efficient power supply. And for the rack space is like 4.5 uh, uh, times the, the saving in a rack space. Um, I talk a little bit about a cost. So the total cost of ownership is really important. So this means we, inc we include on that mainly two things, the cost of acquisition of server, we compare list price with list price, and the uh, cost of operating the server in energy and electricity. This is based on the standard rate in the US. So again, because of the efficiency of the, the power supply, you end up having, having uh, less, uh, less uh, cost of operation. So at the end, you, you save money by using that instead to using any standard commodity server. Uh, if you like to go further in the edge, because this is kind of a central office point of presence type of server, we also have smaller server uh, could fit like in a street cabinet or in a, in, a, in a cell tower. They have more or less the same characteristic, but they fit uh, further to, to, the, to the edge, so it could be interesting. We already have that in production and we sold that to a lot of people do uh, uh, radio access network. So now what we do on, with that for OpenStack or it's uh, integrated uh, for helping to de develop uh, cloud application. Uh, we, we have done a lot of deployment script in order to deploy on this platform a full OpenStack platform. So in that example, we have used uh, Mass Juju with Canonical. We deploy three controller. We deploy uh, two redundant nodes. So with the first six server, you end up having a completely redundant um, OpenStack distribution. You could remove anything, and you still you are still able to uh, to operate and uh, rebuild everything. You have a place for three different for three order place to add VM. So this means you could have six server there into you. If you need to grow more, of course, you could have more of those server or more of server you already have to that commodity that that uh, that platform. So it's a nice way to be able to deploy very easily on edge to, on edge location a full OpenStack controller. This could also be used to very easily deploy on-premises uh, private cloud because it's really uh, easy to install. Uh, we do the same, the similar thing also with uh, Kubernetes. Uh, we also have developed deployment script to make sure all of that is working properly. Uh, so with Kubernetes, the recipe is a little bit different. We just need to have three redundant controller. It's the same idea. You end up in 2U to having your whole infrastructure easy to deploy. Um, of course, uh, Contron provides the hardware. We help you with the infrastructure for make sure it's working fine. Uh, but uh, we don't provide application or software like that, but we validate with a lot of different software. Mainly what we call infrastructure and orchestration, uh, all, major, all major distribution of uh, OpenStack, uh, operating, uh, operating system, OPNFV, we deploy 
all of those things on the hardware in the lab just to make sure everything is going fine and make sure when you will do your own deployment that will be easy. We are also involved in the networking because we provide at the same time the compute and the networking. So make sure it's working fine with uh, OVS, DPDK, Open Daylight, uh, FDIO. Um, of course, it's an OpenStack Summit. It's all about the community. So we are also in, uh, be, are involved in the community. Mainly we work in the edge computing group. We are active in that community. We provide a lot of guidance on what we think could be the hardware to, to help to define that for different places uh, in the edge, uh, providing uh, what uh, we, we think uh, the, all the company needs for mainly 5G infrastructure. Uh, we are a hardware company, but we have main we have made different contribution to different uh, open source projects like uh, Rally or some uh, canonical uh, charm. We we put that to we we send that to the community for make sure it's it's still it remain open for uh, for everyone. Our goal is make sure it's, it's working fine for everybody. Uh, sorry, that it was my last slide. So if you have any question, I guess it will be the time now. No, thank you very much.